If tech layoffs and hiring freezes weren't bad enough, now it looks like all of our jobs are gonna be replaced with AI. ChatGPT is a new AI chatbot that is really smart, and it's probably going to take your job. Or is it? We all know that before anyone is gonna hire ChatGPT, it has to first pass the coding interview round. So let's see if ChatGPT can solve twosome. So first it's giving us the brute force solution, which is not bad at all, but actually in the same answer, it gives us the most optimal solution. And it also gives a pretty good explanation of the code. And the solution is actually identical from my two sum YouTube video. Maybe it's trying to put my channel out of business, but anyone can just regurgitate somebody else's solution. You could do that just by Googling the problem, for example. Let's see what happens when I slightly modify the problem just by removing a single word, which basically allows the same element to be used twice in a solution now. Okay, it knows that this problem is a variation, but somehow it's completely wrong the time complexity is wrong, the explanation is wrong, I think it wasn't able to interpret the question. If I was interviewing someone and they got the first question completely right, but then messed up the follow-up this badly, there's no way I would pass them. The data set that ChatGPT is trained on does not include any data from 2022. So let's ask it a question that surely it's never seen before. I'm gonna pick the easy question from the most recent leak code contest. It's a pretty simple problem. All you have to do is take the maximum value from every single row, and then among all of those values, take the maximum and add it to the result, and then remove each of those values from the row, and then repeat the process until we have no more elements in the grid. I'm pretty sure ChatGPT has seen a similar enough question to this that hopefully it can get it right. Okay, that took a while and it's still typing some stuff out. So I'm just gonna copy the code and try to run it and see what happens. And the solution was wrong. But taking a closer look, the solution is actually pretty close. There's a couple bugs that I see. The first one being that we're gonna be stuck in an infinite loop because the grid is never going to be empty because it's gonna contain some empty arrays. But since all of the rows in the grid are the same size, we can change it so that the loop continues while the first row is not empty. And the second issue is that the comment here is actually incorrect. We're not getting the maximum value from each row. We're just getting the first value. So we can fix that by actually sorting every single row prior prior to entering the while loop. So this, as you can see, will get accepted, but there are a couple problems with this code. First of all, it's definitely more complicated than it needs to be. The comment says we're getting the maximum value, but we're actually getting the minimum value. But coincidentally, that will get us to the correct solution. But the biggest problem here is that we're removing from the beginning of every single array. That is an O of n time operation. And we could change that by actually taking the last element from every single row, which will actually be the maximum element. And then of course, removing from the end of every single row. And this ends up being much more efficient. So I would definitely have to give ChatGPT a no higher rating. But you might be thinking, oh wow, this AI can't even give the best solution without copying code from somewhere. But at the same time, can you? For coding interviews, most people can't. One way to fix that would be to head over to neatcode.io, which has a lot of free resources to help you prepare for coding interviews. And they're definitely not AI generated. Rated. Rated. In conclusion though, at this point, it seems like ChatGPT can't really create original code that is reliable. I'm personally not scared of AI taking my job. I don't think calculators and tax prep software has gotten rid of accountants, at least not yet. But who knows, it might even be my employer that creates an AI that does end up replacing all of us.